Hello MTV and welcome to my crib, aka my desk setup. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of my desk setup. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of my biggest prize and joy because I personally just love it so much. It's very much my style, very minimal, light and bright with a little bit of greenery. Uh, and yeah, I find it to be, you know, relatively aesthetic So I'd like to share with you guys the things that I bought Not only is it aesthetic, it is also incredibly functional Despite there being quite a few things I could improve on As of now, I am quite happy with it I definitely have a few ideas to make it better But I am constrained to, you know, space limits But um, if I do get a bigger place in the future, I have, you know, so many ideas for, you know, an even better and bigger desk setup. But for now, I love my little space. Before I go ahead and just like throw products at you guys uh, and down your throats, I will leave links down below. Um, I will leave like an Amazon storefront as well, which makes it super easy to shop everything from my desk because it's all linked in one space. And of course, I would also like to disclose the fact that when you do buy from my Amazon links, I do make like a very small commission out of it. So if you would like to support the channel, then definitely Definitely um, use those links to buy any of the purchases. All right, let's start with the most obvious one first, the actual desk itself. This desk is the IKEA Mickey desk. It is 50 centimeters by 105 centimeters, so it's not very big. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably one of the biggest downsides of my setup is that it's a little bit small, but so is my room, and it fits my room perfectly in terms of the proportions. But if I had a bigger room, I'd get a bigger desk. It was really easy to put together. I say this, but I didn't, I didn't put together myself, my friends did, but it looked easy when they put it together. We have two slidey drawers in this desk, which make it really easy to store things. And then there is a larger cupboard on the bottom underneath the smaller slidey drawer. This desk was really cheap. It was like 90 pounds on Ikea. It also comes with its own cable management system, which I think is a must if you go out and buy a desk because it makes it so much more organized and cleaner looking without all those cables flying out which I think personally for me makes a huge difference next we've got this monitor right here it's the HP M27 inch FW monitor in the color white I personally wanted it to be white because I wanted my whole desk space to be white and blue white because it's like more minimal cleaner looking and blue because it's my favorite color the back of it is white you can't really tell but if I was to ever move and my desk be in the middle of the room, I would want it to be white. The 27 inch is definitely slightly too big for the desk, but that's more of like the desk problem rather than a monitor problem. I personally really like this monitor. The colors are great. It is not 4K, so if you're someone who needs 4K, like if you do a lot of graphic design, do a lot of like artistic work, this probably isn't like the best monitor in the market. But for me who, you know, I just work on PowerPoints, Excels all day, this is just exactly what I need. It wasn't also like incredibly expensive. I think it's below 200 pounds. I used to work on my computer, like my, my Windows computer laptop, and that used to be my only screen. And now looking back, I'm like, I do not know how I did that. Ever since I got like a proper monitor, I could never go back to just working on my laptop screen. I did that for like a whole year when I used to live at my other apartment. You guys can look back at my old vlogs and notice that I only worked on my laptop screen and I do not know how I did that. I, I don't know how I did that. My monitor is on top of a monitor stand that I got from Ikea. It's their Sigfin monitor stand and it comes in the color white. It fits in with my Mikey Mickey desk very, very well. It looks very seamless with it. And I really love this arched look because it allows me to not only store things underneath, but it also just gives it a very sleek and clean look. I've seen a lot of monitor stands with drawers in them, which are really functional as well, but I just thought that it didn't look as clean and as simple as just this one arch. So I personally love the arch and it still allows me to store things underneath it. So I'm always working on two different laptops, my work laptop or my personal laptop, and whatever laptop I'm working on, the other one is usually underneath this Sigfin IKEA stand, my, my monitor stand. The laptop that I am working on will usually always be on top of this laptop stand. So this one I got from Amazon, and I believe it's from a brand called Boyota or Boyata, and it's it, it does what it says. It's adjustable, so you can definitely adjust the angle. I'm not gonna adjust it right now because it's my perfect angle and I don't wanna mess it up. It's like a Z where you can like adjust both angles, and usually like my work laptop is more often times than not the one that's plugged in. 
let me grab the next item this is this is honestly the highlight of my desk setup and I think it's why my desk setup is so satisfying It's because of the mechanical keyboard and I did like a whole unboxing video when I first got this keyboard because I was so excited I was like ecstatic like a little child and every single time I buy new keycaps I'm still that little child because first of all it feels very much like a toy like you switch out your keycaps you coordinate them in terms of like the colors that you want you can buy individual ones if you want and just like personalize everything completely not only that you can also personalize the sound of your keyboard so buying new switches and stuff this one i went for because first of all it's compact i like that it's you know relatively small keyboard i feel like it looks better on my desk i most recently just changed the keycaps if you follow me on tiktok you would know this but previously i had like the Rymon keycap set ah i love my Rymon keycap set i love it so much that if you guys want me to like, uh, write a whole essay on it, I probably could. I could make a whole video on how much I love my Doraemon keycap sets. My friends got it for me for my birthday last year. One of the best birthday gifts ever, legitimately. But I recently just changed it because it's just nice to like have a little bit of a switch up. I changed it to this soy milk themed keycap set. One thing that I love about this keycap set is the fact that it's called the XDA profile. It means that all the keycaps are flat and leveled out, which gives it that sleeker, boxier look, which is also very, very nice. Behind my laptop stand, and I've got a little pencil holder but this one I genuinely don't use that much uh, it's just there to again hold my pens and pencils I've got a bunch of colorful felt tips on it I've got some pens uh, my favorite ones are from Muji I've got some apple pen tips um, a highlighter and really important a lint roller in here the reason why I've got a lint roller is because my flatmate's got a cat um, I used to live with two cats, now I live with one cat So I always have to have like a lint roller just to make sure there aren't like many cat hairs flying around Let's talk mouse My mouse is from Logitech It is a G305 and it's in the color white And I honestly love this mouse so so much the weight is like the perfect weight of a mouse Like this is exactly what I want a mouse to feel like You know when a mouse feels too light, it doesn't feel good And when it's too heavy, obviously it, it doesn't feel good either This is the perfect weight, I personally think And the sensitivity on this is so good If it's sitting on my table and I put something else on my table This would usually detect it And my laptop would wake up from its sleep because the mouse detected movement it, The sensitivity on this is splendid The other thing is that the connection with the dongle is really really great so not that you should be doing this guys but if you guys are just like sometimes working from home and don't have that much to do and you're in the living room and you're trying to wiggle your mouse i'm not saying i do this okay for legal reasons i've never done this before but if you do this mouse it can be in like a completely different room it will still be detected by the dongle so if you're like working really far away from your laptop for some reason this stays connected meters and meters away now onto the few decorative pieces that I have on my desk First of all, we've got this plant from Ikea I'm pretty sure it was really cheap I don't even remember how much it was Which means that it probably was really really affordable The plant pot is separate from the actual plant itself It's obviously a fake plant I don't have the time or the effort to take care of a real plant So it's like a fake plant But it's a really cute little desk plant for your desk I then have like my favorite decoration of my whole desk Which is this little knitted cat my friend Jade knitted it for me not only did she knit one for me she knitted one for the entire friend group except for herself she always does this it's really weird Jade if you're watching this you should start making things for yourself as well so we can all have matching stuff but essentially it's this adorable adorable little cat with like a pink little nose and pink little ears uh, it's got a long tail in the back as well and yeah it's just incredibly cute and it sits on my desk and it sits by these two little canvas paintings This one I made last year I actually made a vlog for Tina's birthday We went out for a picnic And as an activity we also made mini canvases So we were like doing mini paintings outside in the sun When it was summer It was so lovely I'll put the vlog here if you guys want to watch this But I made this little canvas It's got the date at the back It's the 9th of the 7th of 2022 and most recently for my birthday actually the girls recreated this so we did another painting activity and we did a slightly bigger canvas but still like very mini sized and i went with a theme because i previously went for like the sunset and clouds thing so i, I thought like let's stick with the clouds theme you know clouds that's my name i usually just copy these from pinterest i just like have it up and then i copy the design and yeah i've got these two little ones on the side of my desk 
onto my desk mat. My desk mat is from AliExpress. Now, I feel like AliExpress is like one of the best places to go for when you want to buy things for your setup, especially if it's like little decorations or cheap stuff like desk mats. The only downside from buying things on AliExpress is that it does take a while to arrive. I do think that like a placemat is so essential just to make sure that your desk is clean. And it also kind of like ties in the desks together and it makes it look a little bit more structured. It's more of like a safety thing. Like I don't want my desk to be fully scratched or if like liquids fall on top of it, I don't want it to stain my desk. So having a placemat is really good for that. And then onto the right hand side of my desk, we've got a few final items. So we've got my Amazon Echo. Echo, say hi. Hi there. Yeah, so that's my Echo. I've trained her very well. And I've got this boba lamp, which I got for my birthday uh, a few years ago and it lights up however the batteries are currently you know they need to be switched out i recently got a new cute lamp for my sister it's like a little baozi which i will put on my desk as well i just need to unbox that uh, but that will be also an addition to the desk the chair that i'm currently sitting on is from wayfair it is their white mesh blue elephant chair like Wayfair has a few different links and stuff for this and they call it different things it's a little bit confusing I got it in the UK website and it's by like Blue Elephant White Mess Chair something like that I will link the exact one down below I like the simplicity of the colors it's got adjustable arms however they adjust up and down but they do not adjust in and out which is a big con because my desks in the office they do that and it makes a huge difference because you know right now as you can tell my arms kind of sit awkwardly a little bit spaced out i would prefer if my arms could sit here but they can't because the arms don't come in so my arms have to sit over here the desk does lean back you know which is standard pretty good uh, and it's very comfortable the mesh on it is very sturdy so it, it feels nice it also is adjustable up and down so you know down and up ideally i'd have like an ermine miller chair but first of all i don't know if those come in white or gray and if they do they probably cost like over a grand so yeah it is definitely an investment for now this one ties in my desk very very nicely i like the color of it at the back it's 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 what i need it's just what i need and it is it is slightly pricier but admittedly my company paid for this so actually my company paid for a lot of the parts of my desk setup i should have said that actually yes even though all these things i would personally buy with my own pocket money if i could i didn't need to because my company did give me an allowance to buy a lot of my work from home setup stuff so thank you company last but very certainly not least i want to talk about my anchor adapter i'm currently not going to grab it because it is connecting to my laptop right now and to my monitor but essentially the reason why my setup is so seamless and so sleek is because i've got an anchor adapter that plugs in everything so it plugs in my keyboard my monitor my mouse as well and whenever i want to switch laptops all it takes me is one plug because it just plugs into the adapter which plugs into the whole setup it also connects to my charger so i don't need to charge separately everything connects seamlessly with one plug so that is it for my desk setup video hopefully i give you guys some inspiration in terms of what products to buy when you're looking for a desk and when you're putting together your setup i think it's so important to make it like your style personalize it so when you look at it it makes you happy and also make it incredibly functional like functionality above anything else a few of the items that i mentioned really really help with that so definitely do go buy them if you can i'll leave links down below as mentioned and if you guys have any other questions on my setup i will definitely follow up uh, in the comments below and i will make more tiktoks about it as well if you guys want to like keep up with the things that i add take out amend change customize here and there i'll probably record those things on my tiktok so yes guys thank you very much for watching as always please do like and subscribe i really appreciate it it really goes a long way and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye